Hey, Mike Callahan, wanted to make a quick video. Uh, a lot of new SA members right now, service autopilot members, wondering how to put together a proper estimate um, and how to set up the foundations of that. So as a certified advisor, obviously been trained and went through a lot of work with SA, how to do this and how to support other members. So I want to pay it forward here in the next 15 minutes and show you the four to five parts of the foundational setup of an estimate and service autopilot. So I'm going to pull the screen out over here so you can actually see it. And we're going to actually go into this. So the first part of the actual estimate setup is going to actually be the estimate grid. So it's going to be under the gear icon here. Uh, and the question asked uh, just recently was how do we get the service description, the item description, and the different things for our sales tax and pricing set up. So we're going to go in and search under grid. And under estimate grid, we're going to go out and create a get grid. There's also some uh, free uh, grids that you can pull down off the marketplace, but honestly, it's pretty easy. I'd recommend um, doing this yourself. So I'm going to go in and create our test grid. Right here and name it. And I'm going to name it Facebook Live so we know where it is. And what we can do is basically, this is a drag and drop builder. So we can change the order of these names, descriptions, however you want them. And what I'm recommending for best practice is possibly going in underneath here and remove the quantity. So we would have the um, total rate or amount. And I would probably just go in and do uh, service name. Drag that over to here. So we've got service name. Uh, or name and description, depending how you want to do it. I'm just going to go service name slash description. And I'm going to get rid of rate over here on the right by clicking remove rate, but you can add and subtract whatever you want. Underneath for subtotal sales tax and total, I recommend clicking these off in, ca in case you're basically going in and doing a lot of different estimates. You're going to basically scare the client away with that subtotal things they may not select. Um, so we're going to go in and turn those off. And I'm going to show the grid lines here. So once you have it the way you want, it's going to um, it's going to be your estimate grid, and this is where the pricing lives inside your service autopilot document editor. Uh, next thing we're going to do is go in and create a estimate email, an estimate document, and an acceptance email. Those are the three parts of an estimate uh, foundationally in service autopilot. So we're going to go into documents. And once that loads, we're going to hit add a document. And we're going to create an estimate email, uh, acceptance email, and then the estimate document itself. So I'm going to go in and select the type of a client email. And we're going to name it test Facebook live estimate email. And this is email subject line, your requested estimate. That's the email subject line. We're going to hit save. This is going to open up the drag and drop builder for the estimate email. I've got some compressed time because I've got consulting the rest of the day pretty much all the way through here. Um, but I'm going to show you the functionality really quick. So we're going to go in and use the blank template. We can drag the rows over. And this is how the structure of the email would go in here. So we can go in and um, drag another one up here. And under content, we can go in and drag an image. We can go in and drag your logo and insert that in there. Uh, right here, we can go in and drag some text. And this could be uh, by through the merge names, you could have uh, some information here. But being an email, we wouldn't really want this here. We're going to go in and try to keep this as plain text as possible for the best deliverability. And once we have that, we're going to go in and delete that. And I'm just going to go in and write the content of an actual email. So it could literally just be here. And then we would go in. And through this process, we can go in and click in here and go to merge tags. And then we could go in and do client's first name, last name, or client's first name in this instance. So that'll merge in to everybody.
and we go in here and your requested estimate. We'd add some verbiage in here. Obviously, this example I'm not. Uh, I'm going to go in and put quote link or link to quote here. And under merge tags, I can go in and pull out um, estimate link right here. And that's a clickable link that they could go in. And then we'd add some more verbiage uh, in there in the email. So we can make that email look however you want, but the main thing is to have that quote link in there. And once we save that, we're going to close it. And now we're going to add in another document, which is our acceptance email. It's another client email. This is estimate acceptance email. And that's our email subject line. Same exact process. We're going to use that drag and drop builder and go in and create that template. Add some rows in here. Content is text. 